roasted and then stuffed, acorn squash becomes a great vegetable side. Let me show you how I do it. Okay, so we'll start off by roasting our acorn squash. I find that one squash is good for two people. And then when we bring it out, we're going to stuff it with something delicious. You could use regular stuffing. Today I'm making a couscous that has some uh, dried fruit, nuts, and fresh thyme. All right, let's put all of this together. Okay, I've started out by preheating our oven to 400 degrees. We're going to split our squash, scoop out the seeds, which you could roast. Uh, I'm not going to do that today, but they become a really nice snack. And a little bit of pressure. You want to get the most perfect half pieces that you can so that each person gets an equal serving. Go ahead and scoop out the seeds and any of the membrane. We're going to leave that behind. You could wash and clean the seeds. That cleaned out pretty easily. And you'll notice we don't need a lot of stuffing. All right, one more. Let's scoop out those seeds. Just a little bit of olive oil over top. And some salt. A little bit of pepper. And we're going to give this all sort of a nice uh, distribution, even on the side that we won't uh, necessarily eat, that skin side. But we want it to roast nicely. Also get a little bit of oil on our pan. All right, it's looking very good. 400 degrees for about 30 to 40 minutes in the oven. You just want these to be completely soft if you poke your knife uh, through the, the fleshy side. Okay, so let's get on to our couscous. I'm just going to use about one cup of chicken stock. All right, so this is one cup of boiling chicken stock that we're gonna pour over our half cup of couscous. So couscous goes in. And actually I'm gonna put our dried fruit in. So what I have here is about a quarter cup of dried cranberries and a quarter cup of uh, golden raisins. So all of that in, every last one. And just put your stock in over top. We're going to leave all of this sit. Time is on our side because we've got lots of time until our squash comes out. And we just want to cover that. All right, while everything's working, we're going to strip the leaves off of our little stems of thyme. Probably about a, uh, a good teaspoon of thyme leaves here maybe a little bit more, however much you like. Okay, and it's been about 15 minutes. Let's check our couscous here. And it looks great. All of that liquid has been absorbed and our fruits have plumped up. You wanna fluff it with a fork, not with a spoon, just to get it all uh, nicely sort of lifted and distributed. All right, the squash is just about to come out of the oven, so I think we can put our final finishes on our little couscous. And I say about a quarter or so, maybe a third cup of uh, nuts to give it that nice sort of crunch. All right. Oh, looking really good. And they're even soft uh, through the outside here. So feeling really good the whole way through. Throw them under the broiler for just a few moments and it'll let the couscous also just get a little bit brown on the top. I think that one needs just a couple more little pieces. And yeah, I think overstuffing is the way to go. All right, let's kick up the broiler. Back in the oven, keep an eye on it just for another uh, one minute or so, really. Okay. Okay, it's just been a couple minutes just long enough for the tops of the uh, acorn squash to get a little bit more caramelized and the lightest brown nuttiness on the couscous. So delicious. Stuffed acorn squash with couscous. I hope you try this recipe at home and I hope you enjoy.